I'm back. How are you? Thank you so much for the wonderful, sweet welcome back reception that I got from you guys. I felt loved and missed and it really it made me feel good because I wasn't sure what was going to happen since I just kind of vanished. Poof. So thank you. It really meant a lot to me. And I was so happy to see so many of you still around. Yay! Okay, so as I had promised, I have some October favorites for you. By the way, it's like 30 degrees outside today, but it is sweltering in my house for some reason. So I'm just wearing like a tank. But when I go out later, I have this like cute little flannel checkered whatever thing that I put over it. But I was like, <laughs> I'm dying. So I'm not wearing it right now. Okay. I know you had no need to know that, but there you go. Okay, so let's start. I've got my October favorites and I've got one miss. Um, some of these you may have seen before from me. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think so, but they were worth mentioning again because these are the things that I find myself grabbing every single day lately since the beginning of fall, since my skin tone, you know, started to change and get fair again and fair, ghostly, really. It's amazing I get so tan, isn't it? Because when I'm not tan, I am the whitest white girl. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. So, um, these are the things that really I have been grabbing for a lot. And you will also notice that a few of them are drugstore, which is even better because you know that I am a makeup forever aholic along with a candy aholic as we covered two days ago with my milk duds oh my gosh I ate every single one my children are not happy with me and all the almond joys and a few of the Reese's but I can't tell my little guy that I ate his Reese's because he, they're his favorite and he will kill me okay so let's get started because I only have 10 minutes so let's rock and roll um I will start I guess with my primer that seems like a good place to start. Um, I don't have one in every, I don't have something in every single category, but I have, you know, the things that I'm really loving. Now, I know that I've told you guys that I love the Perfect Primer, and I really, really do, but I got this a really long time ago, and I had kind of forgotten about it, and I went back to it, and now I, this is a new bottle, but I forgot how much I really, 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 really like it. And I think I might even like it a little better than the Perfect. Maybe. They're comparable. I think this one might be a little bit cheaper. Not sure. But this is Dr. Brandt's Pores No More. And you can get it at Sephora. And um, I do tend to have... Uh, you can't really see with this camera. But I, they're not huge, but my pores can be a little bit visible. That's from Sun Damage. Bad sun. Bad, bad, bad. So this really just gets rid of it and gives me a really nice clean canvas and it's not heavy it's extremely light it's not greasy um it does it looks like it's colored but truthfully you can see that it, it really disappears into your skin say the perfect does have a little bit more of a um, i guess like a tinted moisturizer kind of a feel to it um you know it leaves a little bit of color on your face makes your tone a little bit more even but this really doesn't um it looks like it would but it doesn't but it really gives you a nice palette to start from and i am all about this i really love it the only thing i don't like it has, has a little bit of a medicinal smell but whatever you can get past it okay i got it out quickly already because i'm such a jibber jabber um i guess the next thing would be um Foundation. You're not going to believe this because now, again, you know, I'm all about Makeup Forever Foundation and I love it. Um, but I found a drugstore foundation that I really, really like if I want to go matte as opposed to a little dewy. My Makeup Forever leaves me a little more dewy. Um, I never use powder. Very rarely. Um, sometimes I use the Micro um, HD Silica for Makeup Forever, but most of the time I don't. And this I really don't need it for. And this, this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25-Hour Foundation. I really, really like it. I really do. I'm wearing it now. Um, I only need a tiny little bit of it, and I buff it with my... What is this? My 109. Duh. I buff it with the 109. I just put a little on my hand, and... And I swirl, swirl, swirl. 
and I literally bring the tiniest dot all over my face and it gives me really nice coverage not too heavy you could go really heavy 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 full coverage with this um, I really buff it out a lot so it's just kind of an even coverage but this is really great stuff and it was like eight dollars or something I don't know I like it I'm using 201 classic beige at the moment because again ghost chick okay check it out um as for blush um tis the season to be warm and cuddly and you know bring out the warm tones um i'm all about warm tones for the fall and i've been reaching for my mac lover rush blush i like it because it's kind of cinnamony looking cinnamony did you ever use the word cinnamony when you're talking about makeup i think so anyway that's it it's nice i tend to go more pinky pinky in the summer and a little more cinnamony in the fall um, and rustish in the fall. Um, you know, I do mix it up. Sometimes I go pink in the, in the fall and the winter too. It kind of depends on my mood. But, um, when I'm wearing darker, warmer colors, I, I tend to like this blush better. So, there's the blush. Um, okay. This is a, this one is, is an interesting one for me. Because I thought it would be garbage, but it's not. This is the, uh, Revlon palette. What, what do they call it? I really should have looked. I get, uh, Illuminance, Illuminance, rather, Cream Eyeshadow. Now, I don't know if I would use this completely alone on my, my whole lid, but I do use, this is the Jewel palette, and I use the, crud, I use this color, this really frosty light gold, in the inner corner of my eye and right under the lid till about there. And it just makes my eyes go kapow, and I love it. And I always, always, always put a lighter inner color on my inner corner, but um, not normally a cream. Normally I go with, you know, whatever I have, a gold or a, an off-white, pearl-ish, something to open it up. And I was like, eh, it was, it was on like 50% clearance or something, and I'm like, oh, you know what, I'll try it. Maybe I can, it'll work as a nice base under color. And, um, you know, I really haven't gone and done too much with the other colors. There's a blue, there's a green, and there's like a, a mauve color. But I really am using the hijibis out of the champagne color. So I really like it. All right, I'm ready to get time. Okay, my lips. I love this. I'm wearing it now. Mm. This is um, my Dior, Diorific. Ooh, they're getting trendy. Diorific number three in rows now first of all look at the container i love the container it's so pretty now i mean it's ridiculously expensive i, I don't even know what i paid for it i know it was well over 40 dollars for this lipstick but and i think it's primarily for the packaging truthfully but i really like it and it has really nice staying power and it's very very creamy you can't feel it you know i hate when lipstick kind of drags along your lips and it gets tough and tight and ugh, i don't like that this is really wonderful and um yeah it blends really nicely and it's again nice really nice festive warm fall into the christmas season color and fall is all about bold lips so dior fantastic of course you could probably find a color just like it in a cheaper version i'm sure of that but i picked this one up because i really liked it okay um this is like an odd one, and this is going to be the last one I do before my mask because I'm just running out of time. I have a couple more, but there's nothing I can do. Okay, you're going to think this is really strange because this is for your hair. This is called Instant Touch Up Gray Free by Giuliano. It's like a little mascara to put in your, I don't know, not focusing well, but to put in your roots in between color. Now, I have dark hair, and in between colors... I get you can really see the gray and it's like a mascara wand and I hold it down and just kind of brush the base because if you try to get it when your hair is just on its own it flies away end up coating all the way down your head and it's a hot mess but it dries quickly and it doesn't feel crusty like if you were to use mascara in your hair um it does make a mess you have to wash your hands after but I really like it it doesn't come off of my pillowcase the night or anything like that good stuff just a little thing to help you out if, you know, to extend in between colors. Okay, I only have like 10 seconds, so I'm going to tell you my miss of all things is Dry Idea Clinical Complete. 
And the reason that it's a miss is because it markets itself toward like being a heavy duty deodorant. Let me tell you something. It's not like I really need one, thank goodness, because if I did, I would go around stinking. This stuff didn't even work for like an hour and I could basically use normal, you know, band. It would be okay. But dry idea, clinical, crap, and it was like $11. Okay, I'm 10 seconds over and I'm going to get rejected. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys soon. I love you. Bye.